Converting your drab e-learning course screens into interactive screens is always fun. And the easiest route to do that is to add a light box window or a pop-up to show additional information like uh, more tips for a certain topic or some resources or some links that you want to share with your students. So today, let's see how we can create a screen with a light box window using Adobe Captivate. And the features we'll be touching upon are advanced action. And we'll be using just two uh, actions, which is show and hide. Also, I'll be showing you how to use the new smart shapes to add certain objects. And yes, the most important feature here, which will make the workflow easier, is grouping the objects. So let's take a look. So here I have a course uh, screen uh, where uh, on the second screen, I have some title here. I have a background image. I have an image of a person and I have some on screen text out here. What I need to do here is add a pop up, uh, pop up box, which will, uh, you know, appear when I click here text and it should disappear when I close it. Okay. Very simple to do that. Let's do it one step at a time. So what I'll do is first I will add a mask on top of this particular uh, content. Now what this mask will do is it will hide uh, the text on the screen partially so it doesn't distract the learner when he or she is reading the text in the popover uh, window. Okay, so let's add a mask and we will be add using the new smart shapes. I will be using a rounded rectangle because I have uh, the image uh, for background as a rounded uh, image. So I will just uh, draw a rectangle randomly. And now I will go and set some coordinates here. I will change it to x, uh, the x and y coordinate to 0 and then the width and height to uh, match with my project size which is 640 by 480. So I will change this to 640 and this would be 480 pixels. So you can see that this re rectangle is too rounded. We, we do not want it this rounded. So what I can do is I can click on this uh, yellow button and make it a little, little less rounded and uh, just put it at a position where it covers the image completely okay now we'll make some changes to how this mask look like looks like so i will change uh, the fill color to a gradient uh, which is a combination of a light gray and a dark gray and i can adjust this uh, however i want so uh, i think this uh, let's do this one where okay i think this looks nice so it covers uh, the screen completely I don't want the stroke to appear so I will just make it zero and my mask is ready I will just name it as mask okay once I've done that I will uh, now create start creating the pop-up so for that I first need to add an image so I will get the image from here I have the pop-up image in my um, folder I'll just drag it and drop it in my project so here's the image and it's a little big so I'll just uh, reduce its size so so that it looks nice and here will be the click point so the positioning is right for the pop-up okay now I need to add some text out here so let's just name this as PU which stands for pop-up and this would be um, BG which is background so this is pop-up BG okay and uh, now I need to add some text so I will open the file that I have and here's the title which is some more tips and I will go back to captivate and here I'll add a text caption paste the text here select it increase its font size to say 20 points and make it bold and just move it on top of this green area okay so this is my title so I'll just name this as pu underscore title this naming convention helps me in identifying which are the pop-up objects and which are the main screen objects so that I don't uh, accidentally uh, show or hide any wrong um, object. Now let's add one more text caption here where we will be adding uh, this particular text. So I will copy it and I'll paste it here. Uh, let's um, resize it a bit. Okay, I'm resizing it and repositioning it and I'll remove the spaces from here okay so it's done and now i'll select all the text here and uh, 
change the size to say 16 points and then I will go and add some bullets here so I'm adding this bullet point and this looks nice so uh, my text is uh, ready to be used so here I will name this as P U O S T which is on screen text okay so um, all the pop-up content is ready now the uh, the most important part which is the close button so either I can add a button here or I'll, I'll show you some really cool workaround of creating a button out of a smart shape. So let's look at it. So I'll click the star button, which uh, stands for inserting smart shapes. And here I will just uh, choose the simple rectangle and I'll make a rectangle here. Now this doesn't look uh, anywhere close to the uh, close button. So we will just make it look like a close button. I will change the width to zero and uh, for fill i will change it to 100 percent and uh, i'll click on the fill button and here i will choose texture there are different textures that are available but in the texture field you will be allowed to add a custom image as well so uh, let's deselect tile and click on the folder okay this will give you an option to import the image so i'll click the import button and here i can go and select the image that is related to the exit button so the image comes and sits in this particular uh, smart shape and what you can do is now you can choose this option use as a button so you as soon as you click that you get the success action related to this particular button so we are done with uh, uh, how the pop-up should look like what i can do now is I will group all these objects which are a part of uh, the pop-up. So here we forgot to name this. I'll just name this as close pop. Okay. So now I need to select mask, uh, pop-up background, pop-up title, title pop-up on-screen text and the close button. Okay. All these things I will select and now I will group them. Now why would I group them? In Captivate 5 or 5.5, uh, when you had to uh, create such an interaction, you would have had to hide and show each and every object uh, for this pop-up. So when I used to create interactions using 5 and 5.5, I used to write action, which was uh, show pop-up. And in that, I used to write five scripts. But now in six, what I'll do is I will just write hide and name of the group. Let's see how we can do that. So I will just um, control G here. And uh, for group one, I will name it as uh, pop up. Okay. So this is our pop up or let's name it as a light box. Whatever suits. So I'll name it as light box. Okay. So this is our light box and um, it's ready. Now what I need to do, uh, one more thing I have to do is I have to uncheck visible in output because on screen load, I don't want this light box to appear. So I will just deselect this. Okay. And now I can go and write the advanced actions that I want. So I'll go and click project advanced actions and I'll just name this as uh, show light box. Okay. And simple action. I will just select show here and light box here simple nothing else needs to be added i have given the group name here and it will automatically show all the items that are a part of this particular group i'll save this i'll write one more action for the close button which will be hide light box okay and i will select hide here and light box here our work is done now we need to associate the script to uh, the uh, close button and the click here now let's um, create a hyperlink on top of the click button now this is also new in captivate uh, 6 so previously what we had to do is we had to format this text to uh, look like a hyperlink text so i used to uh, change it to change it to a blue color font and underline it so that it looks like a hyperlink and then on top of that i used to put a click box but not anymore you can directly hyperlink text now okay so i will select this click here text 
and there is this option next to insert variables which is insert hyperlink i'll click that and it will allow me to link to a web page or do any other action that you are allowed with any interactive object okay so here i will select execute advanced action and i will select show light box so i'm selecting show light box and i'll click okay here when i do that you will see that the text automatically changes to blue and underlined and this is hyperlinked to act, uh, execute the advanced action which is show light box now let's um, uh, let's see how we can associate action to the close button so i will unhide uh, the pop up and i will select the close button inside this group and after that i will go to on success action and say execute advanced action and hide light box this will hide the light box when the learner clicks this particular close button there's one more place where we should be adding this hide pop-up script is on screen load why am i doing that if i come on this screen open the pop-up and go to the next screen and then come back to this screen the pop-up will still be open because uh, there was no uh, command uh, given to close the pop-up uh, if I have not clicked this button before uh, going to the next screen. So just to be on a safer side, what you can do is that on screen enter action, you can associate the same action which is hide pop-up. So I will again go and associate hide light box action with this particular screen. Okay, now fingers crossed and I'm pressing F4 to preview how the screen looks like so i'll click start here and you can see that i have this hyperlinked uh, text i will click it and it shows the mask beautifully and the pop-up uh, text inside it i will click the close button it goes back i click here and i close it and i click here and i close it and i can do it any number of times i want to do so this is a very easy and convenient way to add light boxes to your courses using adobe captivate 6. In the next tutorial, I'll be talking about how you can add several light boxes on the same screen and how to show and hide them. Keep watching.